Did you know that 85% of employees are most likely to stay at companies where they feel value and heard? Great leaders understand this. They don't just have all the answers. They are also master at asking the right questions. When we take time to listen and seek input from our team members, it sends a powerful message that we value their perspective and contributions. These, in turn, boost their commitment and motivation, driving clear collaboration and success. So, what are these magic questions that great leaders ask? Let me start with the first question. Where are we going? It's a question leaders use to guide their team to success. Studies show that employees feel more motivated and engaged when leaders have a clear vision. For example, a study by Clear Company found that 90% of employees are driven to work towards a shared goal when their leaders articulate a clear vision. This sense of purpose boosts productivity and fosters collaboration. Remembering a time from my journey, there is a moment that sticks with me. It's when my leader took a moment to show us where our project was headed. It felt like a beacon in the dark giving us direction and purpose. With that destination in mind, our team felt excited and ready to take on whatever came our way. Every day felt like progress towards something special. But it wasn't just about knowing what tasks to do. It was about understanding why we were doing them. That sense of purpose made every task feel important and every challenge feels like an opportunity to grow. We felt like a united team all working together for the same goal. Looking back on that experience, I realized how much it meant to me. It showed me the power of having a clear goal and working together to achieve it. Let's find the next question. What is going well? Regular check-ins hold immense value in any workplace. Whether it's discussing daily tasks, evaluating overall project progress, or planning an employee career's path, these conversations are important. Surprisingly, over 80% of people wish they could chat more often with their leaders. That's because quick, regular feedback is super important. Great leaders make sure to give both praise and advice regularly, not just during big yearly evaluations. And it's not just about discussing performance. Many people, especially younger or newer employees, want to talk about their career goals and how they can grow within their company ideally up to four times a year. When you have a clear idea of what is expected of you and how you are doing, you feel more confident and motivated. The third question is, where can we improve? When it comes to making things better, it's not always about you. It's about how the team works together. It can be tough for leaders to talk about team improvements because they might feel like any problems reflect badly on them. But not every issue is the leader's fault, and ignoring them won't make them go away. So, what can you do? Well, asking your team for their thoughts on what needs fixing can make a big difference. It shows that you value their input and can lead to some great ideas for improvement. But here's the catch. You need to be ready to act on those suggestions. Ignoring them or brushing them off without explanation just makes things worse. It breaks down trust and makes your team feel like their opinions don't matter. And that is the last thing you want as a leader. Instead, listen to what our team has to say and work together to make things better. And when everyone feels heard and respected, that's when real progress can happen. Let's move on. Encouraging your team to come to you with problems is important. But as a great leader, you take it a step further. Instead of waiting for issues to crop up, you actively ask, how can I help you? This simple question shows that you care more about than just fixing the problems. Beyond addressing individual issues and daily tasks, great leaders focus on the big picture. They ask, what can be done to improve overall job satisfaction and enhance the working environment. So, don't just wait for problems to come to you. Take the initiative to ask how you can help. It is a small gesture that can make a big difference in empowering your team and driving success. Now, the most difficult question. Where do I need help? This question is like shining a light on the areas where we might not be as strong. It's not about admitting weaknesses. It's about being honest with yourself and others. Because, let's face it, no one has all the answers. And pretending otherwise 
doesn't help anyone. I remember the time when I was leading a project and I realized that I was struggling to keep up with the latest technology trends. Instead of trying to figure it out on my own, I decided to ask for help from a colleague who was more knowledgeable in that area. It was humbling, but it also opened a new world of learning for me. When I am open about my challenges, it encourages others to do the same. And when we are all working together to overcome obstacles, that's when we truly shine as a team. Research shows that leaders who are willing to ask for help are often seen as more approachable and relatable by their team members. This, in turn, leads to better communication, increased morale, and ultimately greater success for the entire company. If you like this video, I'm sure you will like this video, where I explain what are the most valuable skills a leader must have. Thanks for watching, see you next week.